Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. I'm Alexandra Canal, joined here by Josh Schaefer and Praz Subramanian. And we're talking the top stories of the day. Let's kick things off with Vice Media. Now that is being acquired out of bankruptcy by Fortress Investment Group, along with a consortium of other lenders. Fortress bidding $225 million to take over Vice Media. I think the game plan here is to probably sell it for parts, since Vice is the parent company of some pretty notable brands like Refinery29, uh, Vice News. But if we think about the digital media space as a whole, it really seems to be, have been under a ton of turmoil, not just with Vice, but also companies like BuzzFeed and Insider, just declining valuations, layoffs across the board. You have to wonder where this industry can go from here. I mean, it's immense, sorry, it's immense pressure for these media companies, new media companies that have just basically online only. I mean, Vice, multi-billion dollar valuation now cut down to 200 something million dollars. Yeah. The days of Rupert Murdoch touring the Williamsburg offices of Vice are, are over and cutting a check for 100 million bucks, that's over. Uh, it's really sad what's happening in that space. You mentioned BuzzFeed also going through a lot of changes. They're also public, which is interesting, mm -hmm. uh, but you can't, so you can't really reform or kind of uh, change ownership there, but with, with Vice, it's just sort of what's next. Hopefully they can kind of keep going. They have great news operation. I know it's been decimated over the years, but they still make good video content. I, I was thinking about what's different with those companies that Ali just mentioned, right? We talk about BuzzFeed, Business Insider, Vice Media. None of them are very subscription focused, right? So I took a look at the New York Times most recent quarter. Their subscription revenue, including digital and the paper, about $400 million. Their ad revenue was only $100 million. So you're talking about about four-fifths of their revenue, about 80% of their revenue coming from subscriptions. I think it's interesting to see a lot of these newer media startups sort of going the old internet ad revenue model of let's just bring as many eyeballs as we can and try and sell ads rather than getting subscribers that actually have a core base and I'm interested to see if some of these companies start shifting to that model of getting subscriptions, right? If you can get digital subscriptions, people pay good money, you can also then get targeted ads, right? You then have a targeted audience. And it seems like that's what some of these companies are missing when you talk about sort of who they're, how they're trying to make money, right? And who they're going for, maybe going more of a subscription model like The Athletic that was acquired by the New York mm -hmm. Times and kind of has more of a focused model. So then you have a focused consumer you could probably sell that for more uh, more money per ad as well. Yeah, well, something needs to happen, right? Because yeah. Vice was reportedly on track to miss its full year revenue target by about $100 million. And that complicated a sale at the end of last year because who wants to buy a company that's going to miss their target by that much? So that's concerning. And then just a pure fall from grace for this company. It had, had a valuation of just $1.5 billion in December of last year. But in 2017, that valuation was $5.7 billion. Mm -hmm billion dollars. So just a lot of money lost in a very short amount of time.